how to generate free AI NFTs. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you a tool that can help you generate artificial intelligence made NFTs, which I think is pretty awesome. So without wasting any more of time, let's just jump into it. So for those of you who don't know, AI has become very, very popular and NFTs were already popular. And now these two things have combined and formed another thing which is incredible so over here as you can see these are some of the nfts that i'm showing you from a creator all right his name is artificial intelligence art over here you can find them on open seas and check them out and all these different arts as you can see they're all artificial intelligence and as you can see all these arts they're all ai generated they aren't designed by a person they aren't designed by human mind they are designed through machine learning and algorithms and through a program that allows it to you know make all of these nfts now usually what happens is sometimes these types of programs are very expensive or you have to create one yourself and most people don't know how to do that so in this video i'm just simply going to go ahead and show you a tool that allows you to create such nfts as well this is the tool right here now the website is pretty you know far-fetched it's basically a google drive link so we'll have the link in the descriptions below you can go ahead and check them out so over here as you can see you need to do a couple of different things it's very easy it's not complicated at all all right so first things first you're just simply going to click over here and sh click on shift and control and enter all right this is going to authorize you that the notebook this person may require access to your data that is stored on your google drive so it's just giving you a warning that beware so we'll just go ahead and click on run anyway and we'll click on ok then what we will do is we'll wait a couple of seconds for it to you know finish up loading or installing or whatever it is doing then we can go ahead and move over to the second option over here then we can move to the first one the second one and third one so over here as you can see it's done its thing it's found out all about the information about my computer we can go ahead and click on this button which will allow us to download the required python package so let's just go ahead and wait a couple of seconds for it to be downloaded and then we can go ahead and move on to the second option and then move on to the third fourth and then finally i'll show you how you can basically generate it it's very easy just keep following the procedure you don't have to worry about it but if you can get confused you can always skip back to the video but i would say that make sure you watch this video until the end so that you guys can properly understand what i am doing over here so make sure not to skip anything okay so it took me a couple of minutes but now the download and the installation has been finished and uh, it might take you a little bit more time or less time depending upon how fast your computer is and how fast your internet is as you can see it's done now we can move on to the second step which is where we have to choose our model now the person who uploaded this he says that the image number 163844 is probably the best but try all of them they all produce you know cool stuff so what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose the first image that this person says which is image number 13684 which is i think this one and we'll just deselect all of the others i selected this one before so now we'll just click on this button over here what it will do is it'll generate this code or run it and then we can go ahead and click on a third option which will allow us to download the libraries for the neural link network and then finally we can go ahead and start generating the art through this generator parameter and it's very simple so let's just wait a couple of seconds for it to you know be done with okay so it's done with its generating code metadata now we're going to go ahead and download the neural link that is going to allow us to run all of this pattern over here as you can see this text this is going to download it and it has been downloaded now what we can do is we're ready for step number four where we just have to you know add in the word now over here this is one of the most important part of this video so what it basically does is you just have to type in the word over here the text you can type in anything you can type in animal fantasy world or fantasy world with towers or whatever what it will do is it is going to generate code it is going to use that word that you entered use this code above and use the internet and use its own whatever thing it uses and then it was going to generate an art for us so for now as you can see it says fantasy world right we're just going to go ahead and choose we're just going to change this girl to uh fantasy girl and we're just simply going to go ahead and click on this button run and what it will do is it will ready now what we can do uh, if it's ready to run now we'll just have to click on number five which is run the art generator we click on number five and now it is running the art generator so as you can see over here it's running 
now we just have to let it run in the background or do its own thing and just wait for it to be done with it might take a little bit of time it might take a couple of seconds or maybe like 15 minutes or 10 minutes or one minute depending upon your computer and your internet connection and once it's done it'll show you an image something like this now as you can see this image it doesn't look quite right all right but don't be worried about that because this image is just the first image it is still generating what it's going to do it's just going to keep generating one image and then another one is going to be a better one then the third one is going to be even better fourth fifth and so on until you like an image that you think is the best one and then you can go ahead and stop this and download the image and there you go so we're just going to let it run get rid of all the you know two three four images and then we can move on so as you can see this is the second image all right it's still working so we're just simply gonna let it run so as you can see it generated one two three images over here so as you can see this is the third image that it just generated over here as you can see the difference between the previous one all right this is the one so as you can see you pretty much see the difference between the first one this one was you couldn't figure out what it is all right then over here you get a little bit more idea then you get a little bit more and it's going to keep doing that until we like an image that we think is more suitable then we can go ahead and click on the image or i click on the image and save image as and then we can go ahead and download it so i'm going to stop this program because i don't think it's working properly i don't see a girl or anything or I think I do this could be the eyebrow you know this could be the eye or something and it's still generating so we don't really know so let me just go ahead and stop this one right here and we're just gonna go over here we're gonna instead of fantasy girl we're gonna type fantasy land I'm gonna show you the final results of this yes restart and we're gonna click on this button and start the image generation so we're just gonna wait for it to generate all the other image okay so for now it gave us an error what is the error uh torch we couldn't find that we'll just go ahead and run it again okay so fantasy land is not gonna work we're just simply gonna go ahead and type world maybe maybe that'll so this is the code right here something is wrong let me go just go ahead and fix this up i'll come back to you in a second i think i found the problem now i'm just gonna go ahead and select three other images i'm gonna click on choose the models and click on run so that more models are generated maybe we'll get some interesting images next okay so over here as you can see i choose the text world and now it's generating that image right here so it looks pretty different so let's just wait and see how it looks like once it's completed i think i see some flags over here or are they flags we don't know i don't know until it's done you know generating it so it's still generating okay so we'll just wait a couple of seconds to generate it more okay so i left it on for a little while now and as you can see the images have been generating these final images are pretty darn accurate and really cool looking as well and for some reason i still can't tell what is happening but i think that's the point right like you almost see the object and you think you know what it is but when you look at closer it disappears like over here i thought this was the flag of england but now i'm not so sure over here i thought there were a bunch of other flags over for india or for other you know places but now i'm not so sure either and i thought this was a girl but now i'm not so sure either so what i'm gonna do is i'm just simply gonna save this image and just stop it stop the entire process double click it to you know start it and there we go okay so now i have the image ready now all that's left for me to do is go over to open seas and upload it so i'm gonna go over here and i'm gonna sign in with my metamask wallet and i'm gonna upload the nft and show you how it's basically done so i input my password for metamask there we go now we're done we're just gonna go over here click on create upload the image that i had uh, where is it saved actually let me just go ahead and see put it over here now let me just go ahead and upload the image this was the image and i'm just gonna see fantasy and then we're just gonna add in a description like it's an it's an ai generated image and then we're gonna change from ethereum to polygon keep the supply at one uh, and uh, there we go so if, if you decide to change it to ethereum then you would have to pay a certain gas fee and if you don't want to pay a certain gas fee then choose polygon but you will have a smaller market cap so we're just going to deal with that and over here as you can see our fantasy world has been created now over here let's go ahead and click on sell and over here let's add in the amount we want for it so the amount is currently not enough so i think this is enough we'll go ahead and click on complete listing and click on sign and it'll send a transaction to our wallet 
which we'll have to sign and after that has been listed and we are good to go so there we go there you have it one of a kind if you want to you know buy it go ahead and buy it you can search for it on you know open sea as well so there you go i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll answer them as well so having said that thank you guys for watching and until next time goodbye